episode of Oxen Free. Now, for y'all who uh, don't know, I played this, I want to say, about two, three years ago. Well, like way back in the day. And I know the sequel of it is coming out pretty soon, I think in the next couple of weeks. So I figured, why don't we go ahead, see if we can uh, replay this, refresh our memory on everything, and see if we can't get a better ending. Because going back and re-watching my original stream for this, I got the worst ending possible. So a pretty good ending. Might actually help explain what's going on in the next one, but let's go ahead and dive straight on into this and see well, see what the real ending's going to be. Also, guys, real quick, before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below because you never know what's going to happen here. Trust me, I never know. This should be a fun, twisty time loop of a game. So strap on in because this is about to get crazy. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. That sounds about right, though. That truly does, right? We have Alice? something good here, and hey, let's ruin it. Still with us? S code. You haven't said anything. I for can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? It's a very cute <laughs> They met on vacation story. in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, no, no. no. Wait, tell what him, please. Tell the I rest of like the... Tell the rest of the group He got lost in story. some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw. Uh, <laughs> that's downright adorable. It is adorable. And you guys Don't be coy about it, though. Yeah, it's adorable, was, um, Jonas. I'd been Don't be embarrassed. School, and the timing had just never worked out, so... Yeah. What? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool, cool new jacket. Shipping, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's a nice. nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto, so you're in luck. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. A so, klepto's not that bad. how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato. Yeah, well, Just you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Those belongings are grandchildren the hell? Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. It? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. And it's Jonas? It's not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Yeah. Here's good. All right, picture time. Click. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Make sure you erase the hey, unibrow too, bro. You brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mobbed from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 88.3? It's, uh, to the left of the dial? Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. 
Why Baby Carrot? I have so many questions about the, sang, the song title. That's awesome. I hope Christina, with also her talent show judge face, was listening. Just say. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. It's uh, stuff and things, no. things and stuff. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Don't worry, it's magical and it's cool and it's gonna destroy our entire lives. You'll love it. Smell oh. that clean air, boys and girls. Long over. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just, just said the said clean, clean air thing, air so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, uh, no thanks, I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> and almost okay, puking. just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... Well, no, it's... It's fine, Ren. Well, let's Going up ahead hear what we'll he's gonna with say. Me. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... Chillin', my whatever. mom business. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Yeah, you're going straight to running. Not that it's been bad or anything. <laughs> you and your walking. mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm an optimist. I'm proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I that was, was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's cool, it's I cool. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. I heard about your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know. What are you gonna do? Everybody's just we full of sadness and tragedy. We can back up with Ren now. I didn't right. mean to We're take so long. We're two peas in the pod, aren't we? Alright, fairy side. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, <laughs> I think it's supposed to say running. Running. Oh. It's kinda kitschy. Right? It's kinda kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. <laughs> uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Yeah, sure. let's go with the Either ladder one. in this situation. <laughs> no one needs to use this. So uh, if we, nobody lives we here and the store's the not closed, Even low. whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Right, Jonas brings up a good point. In every parking lot, there's always one lonely car, and we never know who it belongs to, but we never mess with it. Because we don't want to know who it belongs to. Because that's how every horror movie gets started. We mess with things we shouldn't be messing with. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio, the radio guy thing. thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, 
The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year Never under the command of before. Lieutenant James Earl Platinum. Right? Yeah, 28, sad. I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else they fly into the ocean, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army passengers were lost. Okay, so there was a bit more information. Gotcha. I, I remember uh, later on in the game, there's like a pop quiz, and they asked how many uh, people died. Well, and I want to say Parks we needed that little bit of information to answer Alice that question. To work there. You like her. She's tall. Um, alright. She's tall, that's all you got? Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Ah. Well, well, we're hello, here. Kids. Yeah. Maybe I want to go to the other guys and girls must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. A few moments later. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, yeah, be that sleeping. That's not nice. Lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. I guess she is. No, no, no. There's something else going on. Jonas, I didn't did you know that answer. little birdie told me that our ex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little <laughs> birdie did tell birdie? everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Hmm. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. I'm not sure yet. That's okay, we're still to trying I'm to figure sure life yet, out. Okay, I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I oh, you can tell to I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um, we don't normally bicker so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. <laughs> The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the feds. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, uh, I, I wonder what it could be, this rather I obvious mean, dumpster, or Jerry am I gonna have to piggyback on somebody's yeah, back? Exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try. Before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her. And I want her to be into me. So just, you know, just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, alright? Right. right. Alright. Relax. All right. We'll be cool. Oh, we'll be and, cool. Okay. Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh it was nothing, really. Okay. I do like the, the, the design of this game. The little almost 3D side scroller aspect. It's really nice. We don't see any games like this. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying. I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. <laughs> we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play Beach Nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, uh, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Stepbrother. Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. 
You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Yes. We um, just established What's this. your name again? You're not paying attention. That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so... And clearly she's along. stupid. No. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, god, aren't damn you all, you like, bitch. friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, uh. I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Well, sorry. I accept your apology. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything because if I do, I'm gonna smack the hell out of this bitch. I'm gonna try to be a little bit nicer so maybe we can rekindle our friendship. Cause I remember I gotta get um, Ren and Nona to date, me and Jonas to be cool, and me and Clarissa to be cool, and bring Michael back to life. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Dead? Yeah, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Yep. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. Uh, we but all if somebody know can prove slapped. that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, <laughs> I'm the truthiest truth who ever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... And that's I, I'm trying to I back him up here. He said play no, cool. Just, they I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This was very enjoyable. We all know he's lying, we just can't prove it. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm totally Whatever. not lying. It's not like I have okay. a raging boner right turn, now as I right? stare at uh, no, to ask no. somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, uh, just take it easy, all right? Tis all in good fun. Hey, no partnering up to be pansies. Silence! <laughs> Silence, okay. winch! Mary screw kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny. I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's okay, excluded. Okay, fine. I'll marry Clarissa. Marry Clarissa. <laughs> okay, why? Right there. I mean, why in God's name would you marry me, of all people? What? You're a catch. Redheads are like the rarest breed. How could I pass up the opportunity You're to so hear this funny. funny wit every day? Oh, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who do you do the dirty with? I do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be... Like less weird, and you're in a band. You're in a band. Yeah. Yeah. I knew those bass red lessons head, would come in handy. Sweaters. Which means, of course, that you'd smother poor Nona with a pillow. Really? Nona? Just heartless. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It it just worked out that way. I swear. It's all right. I'd probably kill me too. Are you okay? Damn. So Alex's turn. Yep, <laughs> ladies' choice. It's, it's okay. Alex I would kill to myself too. Like, oh, great! Here we go. What's your favorite uh, stuffed animal? Uh, Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> yeah. 
Tell the you truth. Happy with How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. <laughs> Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last no, person you uh, hugged and said? Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since, God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I death. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Well, is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And uh, the fact is, your mom divorced your bitch. dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really I'm need to know anything. the I'm situation for it's She's it's none of my bitch. business. It is your business, your family now, so let's hear it out. Why She's is your just parents trying to getting divorced, the Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, I let's- feel that. Let's not stop like this. We should- like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome Jeez. for the permission. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. We'll sure, we'll grab you if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots. Yes. Exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> yeah, I Fine. mean, no, no. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping you're young lad. You're a strapping lad. young lad. You got this. Okay, come on. Uh, Where hang are you on from one again? Second. It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Nope. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Uh, uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. Two hours later. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Clarissa was dating, um, Alex's brother. And she blames Alex for his death. That's why she has so much animosity and why she's such Island a bitch! Living, huh? Uh, yep. Get any reception? Or... No, not really. I, uh, didn't realize our cell phones wouldn't work on the island. Kind of promised my dad I'd call him. He never used to be this, uh, needy, but, but since my mom died, he's kind of shortened the leash on me a bit. He's gonna be kind of pissed. Not a good way to start the move, huh? Oh, he'll be fine. He knows you're with me. I think that's what he's worried about. I'm just gonna write him a text, so in case I wander into a couple of bars or something, he might get it. Come on, I'll push you over. Ooh. Whenever you're ready. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like... I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? 
You only live once? Yeah. I mean, you only live once, so... Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? I'm if you don't mean that literally, too. I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, nah, never mind. That sounds weird. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced. Enhanced. With certain qualities. They're special hmm. brownies. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Uh, Delicious. I think okay, you'll so be all right. Okay, so these little piles of rocks. For at least forty-five minutes. The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay. That feels pretty fucking weird, man. Holy crap! That's wow, even it's even weirder. cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't make, make any, any sense. sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. <laughs> this is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should right? see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated she Michael dated for my five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. I'm not Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. That makes they sense. They should be. That's very quick. Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Right here. Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Weird. Uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something hey, in I totally there. see like it from a this, giant this angle, bat, totally. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I um I didn't mean to make didn't that rhyme. Mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I think you did. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Do you just what? rest, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you, 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 you just rest. Hmm. Shona Fana. He'll be I. Right. He'll be I. Right. Give, 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 give him an hour. Maybe three. He'll be I. Right. <laughs> Wandering into the caves. Jonas, where are you? Hello, Jonas. Jonas, are you alright? Shout if you're like bleeding or something. <laughs> if you are hurt, clap twice. If you're unconscious, just moan. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. 
I'll go find the man. Are you okay? <sighs> Jesus, you oh. scared me. Sorry. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's crazy. No, it's it's, uh, it's beautiful. Bizarre, but beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda. I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me. I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Yeah, well, why not? Seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pot? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light no, no, thing? No, no, I, I, I don't see it at all. Um, yes. Huh. It, it must be like a... Apart from the, um, the triangle... This is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, right? aside from some like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. <laughs> well, cool. if I did, neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Trout? Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? I sees the man. Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Alex, just... Look, I think you tuned in the triangle when we were outside. So let's see what else happens if you tweak the dial some more. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or we're something. We're all in this together. Let's find out what this bullshit is Let's do it. Come on. About. Radio time. Okay. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Uh, I think. I... I think... insane uh who are are you who are you on the listen bob tail she tail sleep me time I'm down is please possible uh I, I, I don't know what you mean i i don't know what you mean so i can't bob tail please children bye it is see you soon alex Okay. Yep, we definitely fucked up somewhere. Alex. Alex. Eleven p.m. Alex. Damn, we went uh, out for like okay? an hour. You all right? I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. 
Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, enough for nothing. Right. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So if it is, the time to come. Jonas, believe me, I, I, wouldn't I wouldn't do that, do that, to, that you. to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower is a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren and Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. White? Okay, let me put off the radio though. From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point to point from its receivers. Okay. Sorry, Joseph, I didn't mean to make you freak out there for a second. I saw him just stuck on the ladder while I was uh, listening to the radio station. I'm sure this is totally safe. We're not gonna fall or anything. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. Right? How does this thing... Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, Wait. I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Uh, uh, I won't say anything. <laughs> is, um, is anyone there? Hello? Evil murmuring. It's, uh -huh. um, dead. Did you get anyone? No. I don't think so. I guess we leave then. Wait, oh, a phone. Wait a minute. We, we could call somebody. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen Damn. to be a code there. Would there? Nada. Nada. Ah! Jesus! Ah! Uh, shalom, you know me about ringing phones. Hello? Alex? Alex? Ren? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank you. Vishnu, I, Jesus you guys went into that Christ. hole and a bunch of stuff, I have no idea what happened, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone, I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, okay. What's that? Uh, hold, hold, Ren, uh, someone's hold on, calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are Where you? Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in... 
Fort Milner? I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get out of here. Nobody wants to stay, Clarissa, but... You know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's, like, a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... Damn, we lost her. And it dies, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Save Ren. Alright, cool. Alright, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Uh, yeah, we yeah. badasses. Righteous. All right, to Ren. We on our way, boo. We on our way. We just gotta get down this rickety old staircase first, and pray we don't die on our way down. <clears throat> I um didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a like a genuine forest. It's yeah, it's like it's just what, for miles. twenty square miles or something. It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be a park or something. This is, like, only the front door. Just wait. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do... Yeah, of course. Yeah, of it's course. just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow. I think. Yeah, yeah, in this I, particular I, I'm scenario, the I'm the noble steed who will lead us merrily to grandmother's house. And grandmother being... Being Ren. Ren. Right. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I... Which is, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another... there's like another way down here. Relax, I can't... it's not as big a jump as it looks. You, uh, barely made it, but okay, I guess. Man, my dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. I don't know what the hell. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. I don't know if I'd say it's neat. It looks less than, less welcoming. than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even on. Maybe there's another way. There has to be. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. All right, well, let's just see if we got to take the um, conveyor thing that's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> Power transfer station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Um, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal or something? All right, I'll go with that just because... What else am I going to do? Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, Terrific, well, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. 
That way, if something bad happens, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right. Um. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, what's happening? Why'd the lights go out? I don't know, Jonas. You tell me. You flip the thing. There's only one thing to flip, Alex. It's not like there's an array of things here. I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> the lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Uh, maybe. Might be, but I don't know. I'm For some reason, the it reminds here. me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Oh, okay, I did something. I that's, did something. That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used... Ah. I am so oh. tired of this funhouse bullcrap. <laughs> you and me both, man. I see a radio thingy up there. Come on. What? Uh, was that there before? No. Huh? Alex, are you all right? It's, it's, it's uh, just, just a chair, chair, so. Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. <laughs> no, that chair was not always there to begin with. A uh, ghost was very nice and pleasant to put it there. I was taking a guess there. I, I was going to jump across. I'm kind of glad I didn't, because otherwise I would have missed that. For all those who possessed came to sudden and violent. Okay, what am I doing? Box six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are, and nothing else makes a difference. Okay. Anyone ex mind explaining that one? Jonas, anything? Easy three. If indeed he find fault with anything, or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. What are these? God has sent him to this very thing. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. <laughs> okay. So we got the special message up there. <sighs> what a night, huh? Right? <sighs> what a night. Um, what does that mean? You said it first. I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that the stuff that's happening is, like, really, really terrifying, terrifying and, annoying. and annoying. We'll be all right. Oh, come on. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. 
Well, this what one is. is. All right, this should totally be safe, like those rickety old stairs we climbed. Praise oh. the Lord. Uh, we haven't even gotten off the ground yet. Y'all celebrating way too early. And then we drop to our deaths. The end. So we're going to go ahead and end this here. I hope everybody who has watched is watching will watch. I hope you enjoy. Hope everybody has a fantastic and a wonderful night. And if you're watching this video here on YouTube, please give this video a like, subscribe, and a comment down below because you never know what's going to happen here. Trust me, I never know. Stay tuned for the next part of Oxen Free. And hopefully we'll be able to break the time loop. But that is a story for another day. So until then, my friends, y'all take care.